Hey everyone, and I hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this. This video is my Memorial Day video where I have all of my dolls here, my dolfies and my smart dolls, and I'm just going to be showing you how I have them dressed in the little display I have set up, as well as just talking about some things with you guys. So this is actually Sunday for me, the Sunday before Memorial Day, and I'm working tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and film this video now, and I'll probably try to have it up by tomorrow morning. But we're gonna start here with Chloe. She's wearing this super cute USA dress. They're just one of my like most recent dresses, you know, I've gotten from Elite Doll World. I had a video about it, but it just matches her so well. It looks like something she wear. Of course, she's the center of attention because she's Chloe. And then over here, we're going to go all the way down here. We're going to start with Logan and Isabel. So this newlywed couple is both wearing blue and white, which is very cute. I tried to dress them in like red, white, and blue, um, but I ended up having a lot more red than I did blue. But um, they're super cute. They're so, so, so cute. I just love them so much. Um, Isabel's got her jeans on and Logan is rarely wearing khakis, which he'll rarely wear. But they're super cute. And I mean, their story is just that they hang out with their friends today and um, celebrate the important holiday and what it stands for. And um, remember the people. We'll talk about that more in a second. But over here, we have Brayden and Clara. So cute. Clara is probably wearing my favorite um like patriotic america doll outfit i have also by elite doll world absolutely love this one i've been really obsessed with clara lately and i've been wanting to do more things with her but she and her sweetie are here brayden like he never gets out of this and i need to make more effort to change him but they're also spending the day together and then we have lily over here holding my doll sized america flag which i absolutely love I think it's like a flag that you have at like schools, you know, that you say the pledge to. But my mom, I guess, had like an extra and she gave it to me. And I was like, this is going to make a perfect doll accessory. But Lily's wearing this little hoodie I have. I got off a popular SD seller, but I can't think of them right now. But I love this outfit on Lily. It's so cute, so pink like her. But here she is. And then over here, we have Felicity, who's actually a moment. I just named her Felicity because I got inspiration for that character from, you know, the smart doll, doll Felicity. Um, like, I got an inspiration because I thought it was a pretty name. But here she is. She doesn't get to be seen much. And she's usually body. She and um, Melody, yeah, like my Melody doll, Kayla, they always share bodies. And usually it's Kayla because I'm a little more emotionally attached to Kayla. Partially because she always has the body. But I wanted to use Felicity today. And she's wearing this pretty red dress I made. Super cute. And then she's over here with Melissa. Who, if you guys know, um, Melissa actually has a son who's my smart dog, Jiminy um, Carson. And he's dating Felicity. So, I thought it would be cute to have Felicity and Melissa stand next to each other. But Melissa is also wearing a red dress I made. Melissa always wears outfits like this. She's so, so pretty. But here she is, very cute. I also like to put this dress on Melissa, but this this time around, I decided to switch it up. And now we gotta go around Chloe. And we've got these three girls here. So the farthest we have over here is Myra, my um, Summer, who is wearing a um, little like popsicle shirt I sewed. And she's got little jeans on, um, blue jean shorts on, which is super cute. Um, I just love this doll so much. She's hanging out with one of her besties, Iris, who is honestly wearing... Okay, so I kind of ran out of red, white, and blue shirts, and I was like, well, you know, tie-dye could also be good for Memorial Day. So she's wearing a tie-dye shirt. These two are good friends, so I decided to sit them together. And she's got on white shorts I had made for me by Like No Water Shop, and um, they're super cute together. And then over here, I have my newest smart doll, Lacey, who is the smart doll Limitless. And she's wearing the other gray hoodie I have, like Lacey's. I believe this hoodie also comes in white, and I really want to get this variant. But I want to get more of these hoodies, because I do really love them, and they're super cute. And she's got on um, shorts like Myra's, except hers are lighter. But these three girls are hanging out together. We all know that Lacey is like the new girl in town. So Myra and Iris are being nice and hanging out with her. Um, she's a little bit younger than their characters. And um, I need to get some more friends just for Lacey. But they're hanging out with her today. And then down here we have Jeff, who is Myra's boyfriend. But he's actually hanging out with his best friend Gavin today. But, I mean, he's still close to Myra, so it's good. But Jeff is wearing this red and white shirt. I actually found a shirt at Goodwill. 
that was made out of this material and I just like cut it up and made a shirt for him like this because I don't know how to you know sew the different stuff like that on but and then he stole um Logan's jeans but um here he is and I actually have his hair fixed like I like it today and here's Gavin who also like literally lives in this outfit I need to get something new for him he also needs to be featured on my channel more because i do not do enough stuff with them but if you're like a big fan of my dolls and look at like everything i ever post you know that these two are best friends so that's why they're together but that about does all of my dolls here i originally planned to have kayla in this video not kayla sorry um caitlin in this video too but um she kind of took a tumble between me like getting ready to record the video and setting my dolls up so that's why she's not here, but I tried to put Caitlyn in this video, but I gotta look into fixing her. But um, I hope you guys are all having a very good day, um, especially if you're off work. But even if you're working today, hope you have a great day of work and you can still do things with your friends and family when you get off like I plan to. But it's very important to remember about what today is really about. And that's remembering the people who served and lost their lives Um defending our country and even if you're not from america and you're watching this that's still very important everywhere because there's no matter like where you live people die trying to protect you know like what they believe in and their families and people and those people really gave like such a big sacrifice and they should always be remembered because their families lost them their friends they they gave everything to stand up for what they believe in and um yeah, it's just something I think people should remember. And one thing I hear is sometimes people talk about that they don't celebrate um, like patriotical holidays because they don't like certain things going on in their country or in their world. And this isn't really related to this, but I wanted to say this while I had a chance. And how I feel about that is it's perfectly okay to not like things going on, but we can do something about it. We can't be upset. Of, I mean, we can be upset about it, but we can't complain about it. We have to stand up for what we believe in because that's the only way things can change. And honestly, people's what matter. And we, we can choose to focus on people and the goodness going on in the world and not focus on the negative. And that's what we've got to do. I mean, why would you want to be negative all the time? We have to be aware of the bad things because they exist, but you definitely don't have to focus on them. Focus on the good things instead. And Hopefully people will look, see what you're doing. They'll want to do it too. But yeah, there are things that like in the world that are bad, but you just got to focus on the good. And like one thing that my, um, our, my preacher was actually talking about in church today is that we have to really focus on people. And because that's really what life is about is, you know, people and connecting. And honestly, today's a perfect holiday to do that. And it's really important. So please spend time with your family and friends and just anyone especially people who are important to you and people you love because we don't know how much longer we have left and how much longer they have left and honestly i know i'm talking about spending time with people but through dolls we can spend time with people we can do this online and there's so many ways to connect so please celebrate today remember all the, all the people who um you know gave the ultimate sacrifice and spend time with your family and keep that on your mind and to enjoy dressing up your dolls for the holiday. And if you don't celebrate this holiday, dress up your dolls just for the summer. Or just do something fun with your dolls. But definitely remember what's important and just everything, you know. But I'm glad I got to share with you guys what my dolls are wearing today. Maybe some photo stories coming up. It was a lot of fun dressing them all up. But I would love to see what you guys have been up to. So let me know in the comments. Um, let me know if you were like Instagrams or anything. And I can follow you guys there. Only do that if you're like over the age of 13, of course. I mean, no one under that age should be watching my channel anyway. If you have an Instagram and everything. But I hope you guys have a blessed, awesome, kind, fun, family, friends, and all filled.